we are going to discuss is not only self introduction but also how to introduce someone to other people so it means that there will be two types of introduction and now okay as you can see there usually before we introduce ourselves or before we introduce someone to other people usually we do what is called as greetings okay what is greetings in bahasa indonesia salam salam pertama salam salam pembukaan salam pembukaan ada lagi Sapaan. So, sapaan. Okay. The greeting is salam, sapaan, or something like that. Jenis itu ya. Salam, sapaan. So, as we already know that there are many greetings. And some of greetings, I'm sure that you can see on your display. Uh, we have hi. Hello, how are you? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Good morning, good afternoon, evening, or assalamualaikum is also a greeting. Okay, can you tell me the other example of greetings? Can you tell me the other example of greetings other than the example that I have already shared to you? Mm. Let me see. Let What's up? You? Let me What's up? What's up? How's it going? Okay. So, once again, there are many examples. There are many greetings that we can use. And usually, when there is someone who greet us, we will respond him or her. When there is a greeting, so of course there will be a response. And as you can see there, usually the, the, the response that we can give to some greetings is the same as the greeting itself. So when there is someone greet us with hi, we can also, we, we can respond him or her with hi. When there is greeting hello, we can respond with hello too. And then how do you do? How do you do is the same. We can uh, respond with how do you do too for how do you do how do you do uh, there is no exact meaning for how do you do how do you do is only one type of greeting it's like hello hi so even though it is in the form of question but actually how do you do has no uh, exact meaning Okay, nice to meet you. And then nice to meet you too. Good morning. We also respond with good morning too. Good afternoon, good afternoon, evening, good evening, and so on. So that's for the greetings and the response. And once again, greeting is delivered at the first of our speaking, usually. So whatever whatever the speech that we want that we want to say there must be a greeting. So for that, do you have any question before we continue to the next slide? Sir, I want to yeah. ask something. Okay, please. Uh -huh. Why does how do you do respond is also how do you do? 
why does how do you do why Respond. is how do you do responded with how do you do too yes okay i'm sorry i i believe i don't know the answer but the the uh, from the all time how do you do is responded with how do you do too i don't know why i i have never found the explanation for that it is only like a habit okay so there is no specific scientific explanation for that even i'm sure even the 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 english native speaker have no answer for that as well i'm sure even the english native speaker don't they don't know too why how do you do is responded with how do you do too okay any other question come on any other question hello Nothing, sir. Okay, if you have no more questions for greetings and for the response, now let's see the next. Okay, here we have four things. Okay, four things. Four things is the opposite of greeting so what is it in bahasa indonesia perpisahan perpisahan salam perpisahan yes salam perpisahan. greeting itu sapaan and we usually greet other people when we meet uh, with that people and then when we want to when we want to go uh, we can say the partings and partings in bahasa indonesia is salam perpisahan so as you can see on your display some example of partings are bye goodbye see you good night and of course there are many other example of partings can you tell me what the other example of parting. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can we use nice to meet you when we want to leave? When we want to go? No, sir. No, are you sure? No, I think we can. Yes, we can also use nice to meet you, glad to meet you. It's happy to see you as the parting. Okay, did he? Uh, nice to meet you dan semacamnya itu juga bisa digunakan sebagai salam perpisahan ya but not for uh, the main partings but only for the complement bukan bukan salam yang utamanya ya tapi mungkin sebagai tambahan saja sebagai pelengkap dari salamnya for example goodbye nice to meet you Jadi seperti itu. Okay. And then for the response, it's like the greetings and the response. Uh, the response for things 
is usually also the same as the parting. So if we say bye, usually bye. the other people also say bye. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, see you. Good night, good night. Okay, and then good night. Why is good night? Selamat tidur. Selamat tidur. Apa lagi? Lain selamat tidur. Malam. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. malam. Oke. Okay. What is the difference with good evening? Selamat sore good evening. Good evening. Biasanya evening untuk salam. Menjelang malam juga. Menjelang Kalau good night itu when we want to sleep. Oke, okay, now I, uh, oke. Okay. Talking about good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Now I want to ask you, when do we use good morning? Uh, Good morning. Good morning. When when will we use good morning? Sorry, can you repeat? Before 10 o'clock. Before 10 o'clock. Any other opinion? Any other reply? When do we use good morning? The clue is good morning is the longest time in the group good morning is the longest time in the group the the, the longest duration the duration of good morning is the longest among the group morning good afternoon good evening from good morning is the longest one <laughs> 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, any other? Any other? Okay. Good morning is used from 12 in the midnight up to 12 in the day. Jam dua belas tengah malam sampai jam dua belas siang itu good morning. And then how about good afternoon? Jam dua belas lima. Sorry, can you repeat please in English please? Yes. Pukul 12 Come on. sampai pukul 15 maybe. Okay, good. We use good afternoon from 12 in the noon um, until 6 in the uh in the, in the afternoon. 12 p.m. up to 6 p.m. 12 tengah hari sampai jam 6 petang. So, that's where we use that's where we use a uh, good afternoon. And then how about good evening?
when from do six. we use good evening from from 6 to from 6 to 12 in the night in the yes from 6 to 12 in the midnight okay so that's uh the time where we use the good morning the good afternoon and the good evening and good night is used for proteins when we live from uh people that close with us we can use good night and when we want to say selamat tidur to the people that close with us can also say good night okay so that's uh the general talkings that we usually say in our daily life now up to here do you have any question Do you have any questions so far? Nothing, sir. <laughs> Ada yang konser ya? Oke. Okay. Uh, if you have no question for the greetings and also for the parkings, now let's see. Let's see the main material of today's meeting. Okay. This is introduction, especially self introduction. Now, for the first, we will talk about self introduction. As you can see on your display, when we want to introduce ourselves to other people, usually we can uh, say, our name and then we can say where we live and then we can say where and when we were born and what else other than name other than address other other than the place and the date of our birth can you tell me Nicknames. Nickname. Okay, what should, what what can we say when we want to tell our nickname? You can call me by. Okay, you can call me. Uh, is there any other? Is there any other? Uh, way is there any other way to say our nickname? People know me as people know me as okay. What else? My friend calls me. My friend calls me. Okay. The very simple it is similar as my name. That is, my nickname is. Okay, that's the other way to say our nickname. Or, uh, if we want to say our complete name or our full name, we can also say, my full name is or my complete name is. Found. So that's about name. Okay, what is the other information that we can tell to other people? What is the other information about ourselves that we can tell to other people when we introduce ourselves? Address. Can you repeat? Occupation. 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 Okay. How can we say our 
accusation to other people. Mom? So can we say occupation to other people? Come on. What is occupation in Bahasa Indonesia? Pekerjaan. 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 Okay. Come on. What is the what is the, the, the expression that we can use when we want to tell our occupation? My I occupation. My job my is. My occupation, my job is. Apalagi? The simple way to tell everything about ourselves is, for example, uh, when he or she is a teacher, you can say, uh, I am a teacher. You can also say, my occupation is teacher. The, the 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 simple way or uh, the non formal way is i am langsung sebutkan i am bla 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 i am a student i am a teacher i am an entrepreneur i'm a business woman and so on and so on. So that's the simple way to say our occupation. Okay, next. What is the other information that we can say to other people about ourselves? Mom? Hello? Our originally from and current from. Okay. Our origin. Our origin. Origin itu uh, asal ya. Laman. Asal. Okay. How can we say the origin of ourself? Just like the occupation before. Can say, I am from. Sebutkan, I am from blah 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 blah. I am from Sampit. I'm from Palangkaraya. So on and so on. So that's the simple way to say where we are from or uh, our origin. Okay, so and of course there are still many other information that we can say to other people about ourselves. And as you can see there, I also uh, have provided one example about self-introduction. Uh, now let me read the example. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. To greeting, yeah, uh, sapaan. So we start our uh, speech with greeting. Hi, let me introduce myself. My name is Ali Mirza, and you can call me Ali. My name is Ali Mirza, and you can call me Ali. Is about our name. Is about name. And then, I live on Jalan Giobos. I live on Jalan Giobos. Is about address. Okay, sometimes we say I live at or I live in. Do you know the difference between I live on, I live at, or I live in? Yes, sir. Yes, can you tell me what? Mm -hmm. When we 
when we use in eh when we use at kita gunakan in English please in English please di atas when we use at it mean specific then in and on oke okay. about in i live in i live in woods it mm, when we use it for place we use for city or So that's the difference between on, at, and in when we yeah. talk about address. So when we when we say I live on, or when we say my address is on, then we continue with the general address only the trip. But if to tell more specific about our address we can use app for example i live at jalan geobos number one for example and we if we use in it means that we want to tell other people uh, about the city or about the town or about the country where we live for example i live in Alangkaraya. I live in Indonesia. Okay. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Now let's continue the example. I live on Jalan Giobos. I was born in Surabaya on June 22, 1984. This is about where and when. And next, I like reading, traveling, photography, football, and music. Okay, what is this about? Hobby. What information. Hobby. Okay, yes. It is like hobby. Okay, something that, that we like. I like reading, traveling, photography, football, and music. Okay, I think that's all about myself. Thank you. So that's the closing of our speech about self-introduction. So once again, when we do, when we give a speech, whatever the type of speech, don't forget to involve three parts. Once again, When we give a speech, whatever the speech, don't forget to include, to involve three parts. The first is the opening. The opening can be in form of greeting. And then the core or the body. The body is the main, the main, uh, the main speech that we went to, that we want to tell. And the last part is closing. Oke. Okay. Jadi sekali lagi, ketika kita melakukan suatu, uh, memberikan suatu speech, maka jangan lupa menggunakan tiga bagian. Bagian awal, bagian pemain, bisa digunakan, uh, yang simpelnya itu adalah dengan sapaan, kemudian bagian intinya, dan diakhiri dengan bagian penutup closing. Okay, so that's the example about self-introduction. We tell other people about ourselves. So that's self-introduction. Any questions so far? Any question? Hello? Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. Okay, if you have no question, now let's see the next slide. First, the next slide is the second type of introduction. That is, introduce someone to other people. Memperkenalkan seseorang ke orang lain. So that's 
introduce someone to other people. So uh, the one who is introduced is not ourselves, but other people. Yang diperkenalkan itu bukan kita, tetapi orang lain. Yang memperkenalkannya adalah kita. Oke, okay, so now for the clearer of uh, the introduce someone to other people, you can see this example. Oke, okay. uh, hi B, how are you? What is it in Bahasa Indonesia? Hi B, how are you? Come on. Halo deh, apa kabar? Hai Bagaimana kabar? Hai B, apa kabar? And then B said, Hi A, I'm fine, thank you. How about you? What is it? Hai, hai. Berbagi. Hai, Bagaimana dengan? Saya baik-baik saja, makasih. Gimana dengan kamu? I'm fine too, thank you. Saya juga. Baik-baik saja. Thank you. Makasih. By the way, B, this is my cousin C. C, this is my friend B. What is it in Bahasa Indonesia? Ngomong-ngomong. By the way, B, this is my cousin C. C, this is my friend B. Ngomong-ngomong. D ini ngomong-ngomong di ini sepupu ini saya C ini teman saya namanya B so uh, ya yeah. when we want to introduce someone to other people we have to introduce them two ways not only one way it means that when we want to introduce someone to other people we have to introduce both of them not only one of them so as you can see in this example a introduce b to c and after that a also introduce c to b So that's the proper way to introduce someone to other people. So once again, not only one way, but you have to introduce uh, to, uh, by using two ways. So we have to introduce both of them. Okay. Jadi nggak cuma satu orang saja yang diperkenalkan, tapi dua-duanya. Jadi bolak-balik. Okay. And After we introduce both of them, B to C and C to B, after that we have to give them chance to introduce themselves, each other. Setelah kita memperkenalkan B ke C dan kemudian C ke B, kemudian kita kasih kesempatan untuk mereka saling memperkenalkan. Contoh ini, hello C, how do you do? And then hello B, how do you do? Blah, 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 and so on and so on. So that's the very simple example of introduce someone to other people. Okay, any questions so far? Nothing, sir. No? Nothing, sir. No? We understand, sir. Okay. So... You have no question because uh, this is a very basic material. This is a very familiar material. So I'm sure that uh, you get no problem to understand, to comprehend this material. And to see if you really Now, if you really comprehend this material, I will give you an assignment, the first assignment. And 
assignment that you have to do will be given in detail in the WhatsApp group. Oke. Okay. Jadi untuk melihat apa benar-benar sudah -benar tahu, uh, saya kasih tugas. Dan tugasnya seperti apa nanti akan saya informasikan di grup WhatsApp. Oke. Okay. Yes, Oke. Okay, and We are already at the end of our today's meeting, but before we close the meeting, I want to check your presence. I want to check your presence and please say something when I call your name. Titi Rahmawati. Present, Mr. Ahmad Julianto. Mayra Musdalifah. Present, sir. Sahrul Mubarak. Present. Alia Audria. Present, Mister. Muliana Setia Hapsari. Present, Mister. Tirahima. Present. Adinda Aulia Rahman. Present. Ya, yeah. Adi Inda Uliya Rahma, kenapa angkat tangan? <laughs> Nur Mutfi Ah. Present, Mister. Mutfi Ah. Fajar, ya. Fajar, ya. Is Fajar ya here? No. Rida Ataya. Present. Rida Ataya. Ada? Present. Present. Oke, okay, Rani Octavia. Present, Mr. Muhammad Nur Fauzan. Fauzan is here. Present. Amat Nur Fauzan. Present, sir. Amat Nur Fauzan ada? Ada, sir. Ada, Pak. Present. Okay. Tiara Nur Fatimah Almadani. Present, Mr. 